One of the first projects that Masterworks had at its inception was basically to hire several dozen analysts, and their only focus was to go through thousands of auction catalogs. Many of them were in paper format, by the way. They would go page by page and put every single transaction that has taken place in the art market going back decades in time. They took all of those transactions and they put them into a computer. That type of data is not readily available or accessible for the art market. And so we basically took all of that transaction data, put it into a computer. We built several indices that many financial institutions that you, uh, you would recognize, they now use our indices to conduct their own research on art as an asset class. If another institution down the line does want to start replicating what we're doing, step one would be creating that enormous database with 70 years worth of transactions. Basically, all the asset classes in the world, you can kind of put them in two categories, broadly speaking. One category would be asset classes that have existed for a very long time and they have been invested in for a very long time or asset classes that have not been around for that long and by definition people have not been investing in them for that long. So the first category is things like stocks and bonds, so on and so forth. Second category would be something like crypto. But if you think about where art sits with those two categories, it's somewhere almost right in the middle because art has existed for centuries. In fact, if you think about it, it sort of predates most asset classes that we're all familiar with. So it's existed forever, and yet people have only started considering investing in it over the last few years, quite honestly, as Masterworks began to make art investable. Yeah. So it sort of sits in this interesting place where it should have been invested in a long time ago,